Section 16 of Second Schedule of Drug and Cosmetic Act mandates IP specs for pharma application. But the ground reality remains that majority of IP consumed in pharma industry is non-IP grade. The Chinese producers have been focusing on the export markets with major focus on India. They cannot export into the European Union on account of stringent conditions imposed by REACH. They face stiff resistance from the US markets on account of additional duty imposed on exports from China due to US-China trade war. As a result of this, exports from China to India have increased significantly from 8% in 2016-17 to 57% in 2019-20. Domestic industry have therefore filed for quantitative restrictions to stop the dumping. The non-pharma grade IPA used in the pharmaceutical industry fails to meet various critical parameters covered in various pharmacopoeia. Standards such as UV absorbance, benzene and R substance, non-volatile residue, acidity or alkalinity. The failure to meet these parameters eventually leads to the usage of substandard material and ultimately compromises the quality of the drug. As the Indian regulatory authorities do not control excipients, imported excipients are being used for the manufacturers of drugs at the cost of Indian excipient manufacturers. Moreover, from health hazard and possibility of contamination, imported excipients, particularly solvents, need to be reviewed carefully by the regulators. These are imported in bulk and stored in a commingled fashion in show tanks located at Kandla, Vizag, and such other ports. Traceability of source, which is one of the important parameters carefully pursued by the pharma industry is completely missing when it comes to commingled storage of solvents.